guys and gals, Bob Sellers here, your resident singing fisherman. Thanks so much for tuning in again here on Hook, Line, and Singer. Forgive me, I don't have my uh, good microphone today, so I'm just going to have to use the camera's mic. I hope it'll pick up all right. But uh, I'm out here on a gorgeous day, as you can tell. Bluebird skies, calm. We've had a lot of storms coming through this state and, and down around the area. But uh, it's calm today. And uh, so we're out here to see if we can maybe get us a bass to bite. Hey, stick around and see what, if anything, will happen. fish are on bed and it's just really really hard to get them to bite. That's a good looking guy right there. I take a I take a bunch of him all day long. I believe that's probably a male out patrolling these beds. See you buddy. that fish on a Texas rigged little curly tail worm not sure what color that is green pumpkin red flake I think with a chartreuse tail just a little short worm got a tungsten it's probably a quarter ounce weight let's try to get another one Fishing pole? <laughs> no. I don't think they're even on Oh man. I gotta get my camera. Y'all stay tuned. I got a special treat for you. I got my number one fan right here with me and my girlfriend. <laughs> this is Stacy. Wave at everybody. <laughs> Stacy Robertson is from Hamilton. She and Jimmy were kind enough to come down here and meet me. Hey, Hello. that's Jimmy. Hello, everybody. And dummy me left a box of CDs. Well, partial box, two boxes of CDs in Gadsden, Alabama the other night. And he's one of the biggest Kingsman fans in the world. And he and Stacy were up there to see us, and he was kind enough to Bring them back to me. Glad, glad to do I it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad the Lord and people like Jimmy look out for me. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> you laughing at me? <laughs> <laughs> She's always laughing at me. Hey, you sung with me though. Yeah. She does some singing with me every now and then. We're gonna have to do that again before long. Yeah. All this stuff y'all got going on at your church, we gotta we gotta squeeze me in sometime this fall, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody bye. bye, Alrighty, bass number two of the day. Another nice little two and a half, three pounder. I'll take him.
Little fella, still fun. Bass. Real pretty healthy. Thanks. Fine, fine, fine. Catching them on this lizard now. This is a cotton candy. Zoom, cotton candy colored lizard with a chartreuse tail. Cast in a row here. I'll take some more of those. Got two back to back right there. Pretty little bass, little male. It's really strange because the bass have been just crushing it out in these sticks and pads and stuff in all this cover and I've tried and I've fished it hard as I can but I've not been able to get a strike out there every fish I've caught today has kind of been on the fringes of that out in open water uh, or in more open water so I'm not sure what they're eating over there and that stuff but obviously they're they're eating out here away from it as well and uh, not just on the top because I'm obviously doing some bottom fishing here with this uh, weighted lizard. Oh, I felt another one. All right, now that's definitely a fish. I felt it bump. Ah, must be a bed. These fish are bedding, and what's happening, they're just picking, see? They're picking this lizard up out of that bed by the weight. They're not just inhaling it like they would to eat it. I'm going to try it again. I stuck him that time. Oh, that's a smaller guy. Yeah, see, I think that's a male. They'll patrol. Well, that's a thick, that's a thick little fish, girthy, healthy fish. All the fish I've caught in here so far this year have been real healthy like that. 
pretty little bass. We'll see if there's another one over there. Might get one more fish on this worm. It's starting to look pretty rough. That goes back to the point I made a while ago. There's plenty of fish out in that structure, but the bite is out here on the fringes of it, out in more of an open water. Kind of strange today. fish. Yeah. Maybe the best one of the day. Three, four pound bass right there. Pretty bass, man. Healthy guy. I love that. Look at that pretty bass. Boy, he hit like he wanted it. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Nothing like it. Beautiful, beautiful fish. <sighs> Red wasp on the camera. I nearly grabbed it. Get back. Well, that was a good fish. Good bite, good fight. Perfect. Well, we are done. Had a great, great day. Man, speaking of great days, let me tell you about my weekend. I haven't had a, a better weekend as far as ministry travels goes in a long, long time. On Friday night, I got to be in Gadsden, Alabama. The Kingsman Quartet, which I was a part of for nearly seven years, uh, recorded an album in Gadsden 50 years ago in 1973 called Big and Live. The tenor singer was Johnny Parrick. The bass singer was Ray Reese, Ray Dean Reese. The piano player, producer, arranger was Nick Bruno. Of course, Big Jim Hamill also sang lead and Eldridge Fox sang uh, baritone for the group at that time. Those guys have already gone on to be with the Lord, but we had a big and live 50th anniversary concert in Gadsden. And Johnny Parrick, that original tenor was there. Ray Reese was there. Nick Bruno was there. Arthur Rice stood in the lead spot 
and I got to stand in the baritone spot and we sang all but one song off of that original Big and Live album. And if you don't know anything about that album, it, it changed gospel music uh, at that time. The group started making live recordings after that and uh, so Big and Live was kind of always the standard. Um, it, it skyrocketed the Kingsman to the top in gospel music back in those days and they've been going strong ever since uh, in no small part due to that album big and live and it was just a, such a special treat and it's crazy Johnny Parrick that tenor singer uh, on that original recording he sang the other night 50 years later <laughs> just as good as he did in 1973 he's 76 years old and still hitting notes that that most most men can't hit. Just an amazing talent, amazing guy. Radian Reese still hitting those low notes on the other end. Ray is, in a few weeks, good Lord willing, Ray will be 84 years old. He has traveled with the Kingsman for 55, 56, 57 years, something like that. Crazy stuff, but. Uh, I always kind of said that I wished I'd have been born about 35 years earlier so I could have been a part of the Kingsman back in those days. But I got to do that for just one night, for just one night. And uh, many thanks to Alan Kendall, who is the current Kingsman baritone, and Rick Sheets, who helped him uh, in promoting that concert for letting this old boy from Alabama go and be a part of that. It was, a, it was an awesome night. Uh, then, yesterday was Sunday, Sunday morning. I was at Taylorville Baptist Church in Tuscaloosa. They have an interim pastor who's actually the son of my grandfather's sister, Catherine. His name is Curtis Kelly, Dr. Curtis Kelly, Jimmy Curtis Kelly. He was known when he was uh, young as Jimmy Kelly. Now. People know him as Dr. Curtis Kelly, but he is 90 years young, and he is again the interim pastor at Edible Baptist Church. And I got to hear him preach, and man, he preached a message that would save the entire world if they would just listen and apply it to their lives and invite Jesus into their heart. He preached an old fashioned message on an unpopular subject. He preached a message on hell and the reality of hell. His scripture came out of the 16th chapter of Luke. It's the, it's the story of the rich man who died and opened his eyes in hell. And it says in verse 23, And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame. Sadly, there are going to be a lot more prayers of repentance that go up from the pits of hell than ever went up from people when they were living and breathing and actually could cry out to Jesus and ask him to forgive them of their sins and enter into their hearts. It's gonna to be too late. If you die without the blood of Jesus Christ covering the sins in your life, then the sad reality is that hell will be your eternal home. And it won't do any good to pray even though people there pray probably all day long to get out of those flames and torment them. But the Bible plainly says that there's a great gulf fixed between heaven and earth and heaven and hell. And no man's going to go into hell. God's not going to go into hell and rescue you. At that point, it'll be too late. So know that you know that you know that heaven is your eternal home. How can you know that? check out Romans 10 verses 9 and 10 and I pray that if you don't know that you're saved today that you'll figure that out 
before you lay your head on your pillow tonight because I want to see you all in heaven. And then last night I was I was right close to home. I was like 10 miles from my home at Reformed Church of God with Pastor Mark Dean and all of the people there. And my family got to come, my mom and dad and my wife and Will and Ellie got to come and be with me. Ellie sang her song with me. She's got a song on my next album that's coming out soon. And it's called Scars in Heaven. And she did such a great job singing that. Didn't look at any words or anything. Just got up there and sang it from the heart like a pro. And man, I'm I'm so proud of that girl and her using her talents for the Lord. But I just had a great weekend. Got a little traveling to do this week. I start uh, in Pennsylvania and come down to Stevens City, Virginia, which is kind of in the D.C. area. And then I jet over to Martinsburg or Martinsville. Everything in West Virginia and Maryland, Pennsylvania, up in there, it's either a burg or a mill. I think it's I think it's Martinsburg, <laughs> West Virginia. Sunday night so uh, yeah I'll be home I'll have to leave out sometime Friday and I'll get home hopefully hopefully Monday night late but anyway I appreciate you guys being here with me today I had a fantastic day man I've, I've had days where I caught more fish but I've certainly had days where I, I caught fewer and uh, they were all healthy good size bass no real babies but uh, no, nothing really skinny or looked real bad. They were all, all healthy fish. Pulled hard, hit, hit hard. Just a good day, good day. Even got to see my, my buddy, my buddy Stacy and her dad Jimmy. And I appreciate them coming by and again and bringing me those CDs that I left. Anyway, God bless y'all. Thank you so much for having been here with me today. I hope uh, that you've subscribed by now. Click that bell and uh, get notified when I post new videos. I'm not posting as many videos as I have the past couple of years. I was doing about two a week. I cut that back to about one a week. I've just got uh, so much going on with, with travel and recording and doing my uh, radio program as well that uh, it's kind of cutting into my time a little bit. So I'm, I'm cutting it, I'm narrowing it down to about one video a week. But uh, ring that bell, and if you're subscribed, you'll always get a notification that something new is posted. I appreciate you liking this video. Leave me comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks, as always. And remember, wherever you are, folks, God loves you. And so do I. And until next time, I will catch you later. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Thank you.